Hi beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back. So today we're doing an unboxing of the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and the Ipsy little regular little mini bag this month for June 2021. Now, this came super early, I'm super excited about it. I don't remember making my choices for the, the my, my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus that I ordered this month. I don't remember what it was, it was so long ago. Um, but I have this little mini Ipsy bag and the regular Plus bag here. The mini Ipsy bag is $12, includes like small stuff and some samples. Sometimes it's a regular size product. And this bigger box here is $25 a month. It's the Plus bag. They also have an X, which comes out every three months, which is $50. But that didn't go so well last month. It was like, okay. But anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, before we get started, if you're not subscribed to my channel already, I'd greatly appreciate if you did that and give me a thumbs up on this video. You can also shop my brand at The Open Crypt, you know, TheOpenCrypt.com, all that good stuff. I'm always promoting that because it's like my little small business and I'm trying to grow and I really appreciate you guys' support on that. Also, I am gifted a box from Ipsy, but I also do pay for my own subscription, so I'm not just like getting free stuff and being like, oh my god, it's amazing. I am a customer as well, so I need it to be worth the money. So let's go ahead and get started with the first thing. We're going to do the little mini Ipsy bag first. It's really cute this month. It's actually Pride Month. June is Pride Month. I'm sure everyone already knows by now. But I feel like this is a really cute little bag for Pride Month. And let's see what's in the $12 bag. I actually kind of like the $12 bag. Sometimes it's small stuff. Like little mini mascaras and stuff are good because you can use them up without like using a giant tube up, you know? This first thing in here is... Oh, it says DC. It kind of looked like a Disney logo for a second. This is Dermalogic dermatologist choice i always have a hard time with that word this is a ph balance cleanser to remove and refresh remove and refresh glycolic acid i don't really know what that means but this is the first thing in here it's actually cold to the touch i'm not really sure why let's see what else we have so next thing in here is from anastasia beverly hills it is a liquid lipstick i do not like their liquid lipstick formula i'm a liquid lipstick person it's all i wear but i do not like their formula it's very drying and kind of like leaves little creases on your lips. This is in the shade Crush though. So let's see what kind of color this is. And it is a mini size, of course. So it's kind of like a peachy color. But this is the next thing in here. I'm not I'm not mad to see in a box. I just it's not my personal favorite formula. Feels like we have like three things left. So the next thing in here is from Jar Cosmetics. It's a full-size eyeliner. I have tried a lot of Jar Cosmetics products. I haven't tried this one. This is the Eternal Eyeliner, which is a liquid liner. It has 0 0.08 fluid ounces of product in here. And it's one of those where it makes a noise when you shake it. All right, next up, there's something small, small. So this is a little mini mascara. Like I just said, I like these. I actually have the full size of this one. I haven't tried yet. But this is the Tarte Tartist Mascara. So the Tarte, I don't know if it's Tartist or Tartiest Mascara. I don't know which one you're supposed to pronounce this like, but it's a little mini of their mascara. And then lastly, we have one last thing in here. Flying through this. So we have the Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care Repair Strengthened Hair and Mask Scalp Mask. So I guess it's from Grow Gorgeous Intelligent Hair Care. So this is the little mini mask. Again, really cold to the touch. And you know what? Since I'm already flying through this video, I'm also going to include the Medusa's makeup bag for last month because it came really, really late. I'm going to include this in today's video as well. But we have a little mini hair care mask, a mini mascara from Tarte, which is super cute, a little mini pH balance cleanser, a mini liquid lipstick from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and a full-size liquid eyeliner from Gerard Cosmetics in our little $12 mini bag. This is a really cute pride bag. I wish it was double-sided, though. It's only one-sided, but it is precious. It's really pretty. So let's move on now to the plus bag, plus box. All right, so Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Again, pink box, orange foam paper. As always, here's what the inside of my box looks like. It doesn't seem like much in here, to be honest. It kind of looks like, a, like not too many products. So in the Ipsy Studios, I want you to share your looks as always. It is the Do You Bold Moves Only. This month, we amp up everything that makes you happy. Glitter liners, rainbow accents, and celebrate the beauty that comes from being you. So that's the theme for this month. It is the pride theme. And we do not have the retail price card in these boxes anymore, which is weird. I really wish they did. If they can include this big card in here, they should be able to include the price card in here. But I think it's not in here because there's so many different variations of it. So I kind of get it, but I just missed the card. 
So here's this. I will put the retail prices on the screen. I'll look them up for you. But let's get started with the first thing, which is a little blue box, which is from Benefit. So this is the Professional Super Setter. So this is a long lasting makeup setting spray and a little mini size. Maybe this should have been in the mini bag. They come, the mini bag for me comes inside of my bigger box. They ship together. So I don't know if it's supposed to be in the mini one or not because it's a mini size or if it's an extra product. But we have a mini professional setting spray here. I'm, I didn't know they had a setting spray. I always think benefit, I think like primers and brow products. There's a like little mini setting powder, setting spray in here. <laughs> well, I don't want to say setting powder. Next up, I've gotten this so many times. This is like my fourth one of these. So I'm, I'm tired of this product. I have one. It's fine, but it's like retail product for like $18. But this is, or 21, it's 18 or 21. It's an expensive balm. But this is the Bali Balm Lemon and Black Pepper Lip Balm. So this is a different one. We usually get the citrus scent, but this is the Lemon and Black Pepper. And that's very intriguing to me. I love pepper and I love lemons. So maybe I should try this one. Even though I already have one open and I don't use that much because I really like a stick balm preferred. So this is a Bali Balm. It's an expensive lip balm. But I'm tired of seeing it. I don't know if we saw it in Ipsy originally. It could have been a different box. Anubis. Really? But I'm tired of seeing this balm. Next up in here is something big. So we have a hair care product. This is from Foxy Bay. If you guys go to TJ Maxx, right? You go to TJ Maxx. It's the only place I've seen it. I haven't seen it in Home Goods. I haven't seen it. Well, Home Goods doesn't have hair products. I haven't seen it in anything else. Go. Actually, let me go grab it. I'll just show you. All right. So I'm back. So if you go to TJ Maxx, get this. I have three of these. This one's almost empty, but I fell in love with it and I bought two backups. And like one, Cortland takes them to work usually. So it's like one extra one in the house. But this was $6.99 from TJ Maxx. This Flamine Glow leave-in conditioner is bomb. Now I also have the like heat protector spray thing from them. It's like a blue bottle. I don't care for that one as much. It's not as good. They also have tons of that in TJ Maxx. This Flamingo leave-in conditioner though, so good so good so i'm not disappointed to see something from foxy bay in this i just haven't tried this product yet but in the ipsy we have the 12 in 1 magic leave-in hair mask with biotin so i like their conditioner i'll probably like the hair mask so this is nice cold to the touch it has a whole bunch of oils and stuffs in it so let's see if i can these are the oils that are in the thing and yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll try this. I'll let you know. It has 12 luxurious butters, oils, and proteins. They're crafted into your daily all-purpose, no-rinse mask. See, no. When I see leave-in hair mask, I think you leave it in for like half an hour. I don't think you leave it in all day. So I'm not sure if I, I feel that moment or not. We'll see. Say, okay. So next up in here, we have a mud masky. Mud masky is what it says. So it's a serum infused eye mask for dark circles, puffy eyes, fine wrinkles, and dry skin and swelling. So here is this product right here. It is an eye cream, a big one, a really big eye. It says eye mask. So I'm not sure if you leave it in or not. Note, this smells a bit funky because your skin around the eyes hates perfume, but loves antioxidants premium matcha tea. It's gonna, t it tells me that it smells funky. Just let me deal with the smell on my own. Like skincare doesn't always smell good. It's weird, but this is the next thing in here. I'm not really stoked on that one. Next up in here, we have some brushes. So let's see. These are from Shimmy Slim Glam. Shimmy Shimmy Slim again. I can't read this word, but it's something glam, stay sparkly, rainbow, luxe set. So we have a five piece brush that it looks like. Let me open it. I can't read that word that's in written in cursive. I, I love cursive and everything, but that font was not it for that. So we'll see if I can tell you what the brand is on the, it doesn't have the brand name on the brushes. Does it? Yeah, it's in that spot. It's in that font. I can't, I can't read it, but here are the brushes. So we have five brushes here. They have a really pretty glittery sparkly moment, which in like an orange to pink brush moment. I think it's really cute for pride. Which also, because I knew these are pride themed boxes, because I've seen the like previews and stuff, I did do like a colorful eye look for this, but I think this is cute. These are really pretty. I don't know what the brand name is, but the brushes themselves are pretty. I love the orangey pink, like creamsicle, like everything. Is that really it? Other than that, that's it. We just have the bag. There's no makeup in here. Okay, so here's the bag. It's a little drawstring bag. We always get a drawstring bag. I actually, even though this bag is the more expensive one, I prefer the little other small mini zipper bag compared to these. You know, because like how many of these do we actually need every month? Like we need to get one every month. But 
This is the bag. It's very pretty, but I'm super bummed. So let me tell you everything that was in the plus bag. I don't know if it was meant to be in here, but it is a mini setting spray. We have a dark circle eye mask, a lip balm, five brushes, and a leave-in hair mask. There's no makeup in here. Like if you want to count the lip balm as makeup, it's more of a skincare thing. So not makeup, hair, tool, and a bag. Like this isn't this isn't good. Like, I don't mind the mini bag as much because you have, like, two little mini, like, you have a mini Anastasia liquid lipstick, you have a mini Tarte mascara. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be the mini bag. It just kind of bums me out that this is all there is. Like, this is, I like, holding it so you can see in perspective what we got. This is the plus bag for this month, and I want makeup. None of this is makeup. So, I mean, Ipsy's supposed to be, like, the number one beauty bag or whatever, and it's... <sighs> That kind of bones me out. This kind of bones me out. I like the mini one better this month for like for sure because there's actually makeup in here. There's like an eyeliner. There's like lipstick. There's, you know, Tarte mascaras and stuff. And there's skincare and a hair thing. Like this is a good variety in the mini bag. Not stoked on the full size bag. So we'll see when I get my other one if that one has more makeup in it or not. But let's move on now to the Medusa's makeup bag for last month, which was May. Okay, so the Medusa's makeup bag is all vegan products. They're usually their own brand. It's always these like Medusa's makeup products in here. Sometimes they have other feature brands in there. But so let's see what we have for this or last month. So this is the Wish You Were Here month. And this was May 2021. Five premium products at retail value for $59 or $54.94. So it tells you everything in here. Ooh, and also on their shop they have Lunar Tides hair dye. Really good hair dye, you guys. But let's just pull things out and see what we get. So first thing in here is some bath salts. I'm sorry guys, I cannot take the word bath salts seriously ever since that guy ate that dude's face. I just, I think bath salts, I think crazy drug people stuff, but they should just rename this to like bath crystals or bath sand or something, I don't know. But this is the time to chill bath salts, relax and eucalyptus Epsom salt and biodegradable glitter. Ooh, this one's cute. This should have been a pride product. But this is the first thing in here. Very cute, very cute. Not mad at that. This retails for $10. So we have some bubble wrap stuff now. So is this everything in here? Okay. So this is the rest of our products. So first thing in here, I've gotten this before. This is a Coco Betty makeup remover wipe. So it's a coconut oil wipes. Oh, it says multiple wipes. How many is in here? Uh, this, is, this is a bonus item. So this doesn't count in the retail value. It's just a bonus item from Coco Betty. Next up in here, we have a little eye pigment. So this is an eye dust in this shade Wasabi, which I mean makes sense because it's a really pretty green. This product retails for $9. I have a bunch of these. I have a bunch of sparkly pinky ones. And sometimes they're purple. We haven't had a green one that I've like reviewed. Next up in here, we have Witch Hazel Waikiki Hibiscus Facial Toner. It's vegan, cruelty-free, and paraben-free like all their products. This retails for $12.95. I like these. I like homemade setting sprays. I think they're nice. <laughs> Alright, we have two last products. So this, I feel like I have this maybe? Or something that looks like it. So this is a Public Goods lip balm. It says it's all good. Which retails for $4. And then lastly in here we have a Medusa's Makeup Vegan Tinted Lip Balm in the shade Spicy, which likes a, looks like a brown. And this retails for $16. So let me show you the shade if I can get it open. Show the shade Spicy. It's a brown, here's a little cute tube. And then this is the color, which is kind of like a warm color compared to what I saw on the box. But it's kind of like an orangey and then you look on the box, it's more of like a cool tone brown color. But again, tinted lip balm is not gonna come off exactly the same on the lips, cause it's not like a lipstick where it's like gonna coat your mouth. So it gives you a little bit of a tint. So in this Medusa's makeup box, we have a tinted lip balm, which retails for $16. A little mini witch hazel spray, which retails for $12.95. An eye dust, which retails for $9, a free Coco Betty coconut wipe, a $4 lip balm, as well as a pack of bath salts. Anyways, <laughs> I was going to do that for a second. But anyways, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. Let me know which bag you think was the best down below. I like the variety in the Medusa's makeup box. Like the tinted lip balm, the regular one, a little bit of an eye product and some lip stuff and like a makeup wipe. I feel like it's a good, well, and a bath product. It's a good mix. I also like the mini Ipsy bag. I wasn't feeling the Glam Bag Plus this month. I just wasn't. Like usually I'm all here for it. Usually it's like amazing and stuff, but it, bummed out by this one this month. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think down below and I'll see you in the next video.